Hi guys, so in today's video, I will be showing you how to install Google Cloud CLI in macOS environment. So let's get to it. Alright, so like I mentioned in this video, we will be going through the process of installing Google Cloud CLI in macOS environment. If you are using Windows, there is another video that I previously released where I went through the process of installing cloud sdk in windows 11 environment so please do take a look into that video if you want to install cloud sdk in windows 11 environment but in this video we will be going through the steps of installing cloud cli in mac os okay so to do that to do the installation in mac os all you have to do is go to your browser and search for cloud sdk installation okay or install and uh, here this is the cloud uh, this is a google cloud page where you can see the process or the steps of installing a cloud cli so i'm going to open that and as you can see here we do have several options we have one for linux we have for ubuntu we have for centos mac os and windows okay so in this video we will be going through the process of installing a cloud cli in mac os okay so these are the steps that uh, are listed here and uh, again we are going to be following these steps so the first step here as you can see is that it requires you to have at least um 3 8 and above for python so you do need python installed in your environment and uh, again this is uh, these are the supported versions 3.8 all the way to 3.12 okay so let's go ahead and check that so i'm going to go to my terminal and i'm going to check the version of python that i have so i do have 3.12 currently and if you don't have python installed uh, please do go ahead and install it i also made another video where i went through the process of installing python in windows 11 environment so you can take a look into that video as well all right and then the second step that we have here is to download the uh the installer okay so we do have three options here uh, we have one for uh 64 bit 86 uh, we have one for apple m1 and arm 64 silicon and this one for 32 bit so i'm going to take this first one here so i'm going to click that okay so it's downloaded now so let's go to our downloads and all we have to do is just open that uh file and we just double click it to extract here so i'm just going to extract it here in my downloads page and once it is downloaded this is the i mean once it's extracted this is the extracted file and if you expand it you can see that we have all of this um, information here so i'm going to move this to my home directory right here okay so this is my home directory and we do have that file located here now so th here this is uh, where the installation uh, file is located so i'm going to go back to the documentation and as you can see now it's mentioned here that the next step is once you download it you need to extract it and they prefer your home directory so i did extract that in my downloads and just moved that file which is this one here to my home directory and then the next thing that we'll need to do is just run the script to install it so i'm going to copy this and i will uh, go to my terminal and i will enlarge this and if i list now you can see that we have uh this folder available so i'm just going again to copy this script and just paste it right here like so and then click enter okay so this is going now to uh, prompt us so you can see here uh, i'm just going to click now for this and then uh <coughs> these are the products that will be installed so your current google cli fashion is 490 
and we only have these products down here currently installed we have pq uh cloud storage command line tool but majority of these other ones are not installed okay so google cloud cli comes with gcloud gsutil and pq command and these commands actually let you to interact with your google cloud platform resources the same way that you will have done if you are using the console version of it all right so these are the commands that we expect to be installed so we go back to our installation now and you can see that majority of these are not installed uh so let's go ahead and um continue okay so i'm just going to press y okay and then next it's saying enter a path to an rc file to update so i'm just going to leave the default here and right here it's saying download and run python 3.11 installer so i'm just going to also click enter for that so it's going to uh, install python 3.11 installer for this and it's asking us for a password so i'm just going to do that so i'm going to enter the password for my computer all right so the installation for python package is now starting so we'll just let it continue so basically this is just you know the screen prompts that um, are required during your installation so um, you can just follow the steps and um, uh, choose the options that you like all right so we can see now that we have completed our installation okay so now that the download is complete let's see if gcloud is available so if you just run gcloud it's not recognized if you type pq it is not recognized and if you type gsutil it's not recognized okay so this means that we do need to add this into our path so let's go ahead and set our path for this so that we are able to run these commands from our terminal all right so to do that let's just go back to our actually we can just type here so we do have right here our folder where gcloud is installed we need to navigate to this so we do need to navigate to this so if you if you if you go to if you cd to this folder you will see that we do have a pin directory and if you go inside there you will see that we have these commands now we have pq gcloud and gsutil so these are the most important commands that we want to be running and uh, as i showed you previously we these these are currently not being recognized okay L like we ran a few minutes ago so let's go ahead now and set our path so that we are able we are able to run this command so to do that i'm just going to go back to my uh home page uh, or, or users directory home page and you can see that's the one all right so i will clear this and if you list the hidden files the one that we want to update our path is this one for patch profile so i'm going to open this using vi so i'll do this and patch profile like so okay so this is going to open our patch profile and this is where we need to maintain our path so i'm going to just click insert on this and i will paste this command here okay so i'm just going to paste this command here right here i'm going to paste it right here like so okay so this basically is uh saying that our path where this um is located is this one go to users um go to my username and uh inside there you'll find the installation or you'll find the folder and inside that folder go to pin directory and basically that is where our commands are located so i'm just going to escape this just click escape and then click wq and then the next thing is to basically activate it so i'm just going or to refresh it so i'm just going to uh, say source bash 
our file all right so that one has been refreshed now and now that we have updated our path let's go ahead and check those commands again so i'm going to uh, type chcloud here and enter and as you can see it's not recognized let's also see if pq is still in uh, recognize you can see it's not so what we need to do is we need to close this window and open another window okay so because this is the one that we used to set it's not recognized so we are going to open a new window so I'm just going to go here uh, shell and open a new window all right so if we do that let's see now if we are able to run this command all right there we go so if you type chcloud now you can see that it is running uh, so let's say chcloud version okay so you can see now that we have our SDK installed we have PQ chcloud and gsutil all right again you do have to close the window or basically restart it in order to be able to run the, 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 the commands if you run it with the previous window that you used to set the path it's not going to recognize it so you do need to uh, close it and basically open a new window or you can just open a new tab uh, i mean a new window from here okay so now that we have chcloud installed let's go ahead and check if we can execute some of these commands so i'm going to run chcloud projects list okay so this is failing and the reason for this is because i don't have my uh, environment setup so let's go to the documentation and see what it says uh, as you can see right here it says once you are done installing you do need to initialize your your cli so that you can connect to your cloud environment so let's go ahead and do that we'll just go ahead and do chcloud init all right so this this init is basically going to uh, let us connect to our gcp account uh, so let's go ahead and say yes we will sign in and there we go so we are going to uh, allow that so that we are able to sign in okay so basically it's going to connect to your email and just you know ask you to authenticate it all right there we go so now that we've done that we do have uh, two projects so we are going to pick one we need to pick one so I'm going to pick the first one that's the one I usually use and then once we do that it's asking here do you want to configure default compute region I don't I'm going to click no for that uh okay there it is so that's it that's basically it so now you've you've, you've created and successfully connected to your google platform uh, account or gcp account so let's go now and again execute that command to list project or projects all right so we can see now that we are able to see two projects in our environment all right so again we were able to install cloud cli and uh, through cloud cli we can run commands like chcloud we can run pq to interact with pquery gsutil to interact with google cloud packet uh, or google cloud storage packets all right guys so uh, from here you can do all of the things that you wanted to do um, but yeah this is just what i wanted to show you how to install cloud cli in mac os environment all right guys that's all i wanted to show you in this video if you found this video useful please like the video and also put your comments in the comment section and if you have not subscribed to the channel please do not forget to hit the subscribe button so that you can stay updated all right guys that's all i had for you bye bye